Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Hooks at BC. Today we wanted to show you our two favorite knots that we use while sturgeon fishing. So it's early April and um, the water has been warming up and which in turn increases the um, sturgeon activity in the lower portion of the Fraser River, the tidal portion to be specific. Um, and we use two main knots. One of them is the uh, snail knot and the other one is the loop knot, egg loop knot. First of all, I wanted to show you the leader setup. So we, we mainly use either um, 96 or 72 pound um, tough line sturgeon leader. So the package looks like this. Um, you can get those in any fishing store. Um, then we use a barrel swivel. They look like that. I think this is size one, um, they'll do. And then right now, because it's still a little bit cooler, um, we use five odd hooks. So there's either the J hook or the circle hook. I prefer using this uh, the J hook because with the circle hook, the fish has to take the bait, swim away, and the hook sets itself. Well, I think personally, the hook setting is the funnest part. So, um, I prefer using the J-hook where you set the hook yourself. It's a little bit more risky because you might lose the fish in the sense that you might set too early or uh, too late, but it's fun. Regarding the leader strength um, and also the hook size, you don't need anything as strong or as big as you would need in freshwater because the fish down here are roughly three to five feet. Um, sometimes you do get the odd six, seven footer, but it's rarely. Um, so in the winter time we use the five odd hooks in the summertime you can go up to like a six seven odd but down here that's about the size you would need all right so for leader length um well today i'm yeah this would be roughly the size i would use for leader length about two feet to three feet depending on the um current speed and everything but today i'm showing you on my my, my um, main line, which is a yellow tough line, um, 100 pound test. And I'm using this just today because it's nice and bright and easier to see while I tie the knot. Okay, so I will first start off with the um, loop knot. So you go through the eye of the hook, just like that. And then give yourself a tag end of a good inch and a half. Then you wrap your leader around your tag end and the hook about, do like, uh, depending on the size of your um, leader, I'll do it between five or six to nine times. The thinner the leader, the higher the amount of wrapping. So I think I did it one, two, three, four, seven times. And then you hold your wrap then, make sure it's nice, nicely wrapped, nice and tight. You hold that and you take the long end of your leader and you put it back through the eye of the hook coming from the shank of the hook. So you pull that back through, just like that make yourself a nice little loop and then you hold that piece with the tag end together and you continue wrapping around that you wrap another another um, make make sure it's nice and tight you wrap another maybe four to five times it's two three four, five, or give it six for good luck. Six for good luck, not good luck. <laughs> Looks good too, but. And then you hold, you make sure that this is um, nicely cleanly wrapped and you put your finger on it and you pull your, um, the, the end of the leader, the long end, you pull that nice and tight
pull on both ends. Ow! Sharp hooks. Pull on both ends. And then see, you created yourself a little um, loop here where you can, you can make it as big as you want and you can put your the end of your rose sack, the one where you, where you tied it with um, your spider wire or whatever you use, put that through there and then close it and your um, the current and the drag on the hook will tighten this loop so that the um, egg sack or rose sack won't, won't fall out. Oh man, that was a... Ouch, that hurt. Sharp hooks. So now I will um, show you the snell knot. So you put that, put your leader through the eye of the hook, pull it through a good uh, like three, three inches, and then you make a loop. I like going the front of the hook. So you loop in the front of the hook. And then you wrap, so you, you have it like this, and then you wrap the end of your leader around that loop. A good, um, again, like six, seven times. So it's four, five, and six. I make sure to. I left a little bit too little of an end there, so my tag end is a little bit too short, but it'll work. And then you put your hand again on on the wrapping, and you pull on your um, leader, main end of your leader, and you just pull that tight. Okay, so then. You can see that it's nicely wrapped. There's, you can put your finger along here. It's no overlaps, nothing. Um, and there's no loop that's created. So that's, this is for that knot. Um, I mainly just use the loop knot. I mean, you can usually use the loop knot when you're fishing with anything that you don't have to loop either. It's no real, no real difference, but I don't really use it other than um, fishing with uh, row. It just, it's nice, this one is nice and easy to tie. It's also easier to tie the um, snell, the snell knot when you're um, using bigger, higher pound test, just because you don't have to go through the eye of the loop twice like you have to do with this one. All right, well, um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this helped. Please comment and subscribe. Uh, we will come out with um, a few more video tutorials in the next few weeks, and um, we'll see you around. See ya.